Let's take a live look from our Everett Tower cam right now. What a nice day it was. Temperature's so warm, but you can see a change is coming. I know what it means. Let's check in with Craig Herrera. Hi, Craig. Yeah. Hi there, Joyce. Hey, Mark. Yeah, a little bit of summer rain in the forecast, oh. but not a lot, just some. And then we're back at it. More sunshine in the seven day. Joyce and Mark, it's going to be, next week's going to be really toasty. So we'll take this little bit of cloud cover. I'll get you going with the shot from Long Beach. Beautiful here. We do have some scattered clouds here. You mentioned the change, some of the clouds coming on through. I think where we will see some of the rain will be close to the convergent zone. As the winds whip around the Olympic Range, come together near Everett, down through Seattle. That's where we'll probably have most of those showers, maybe over to Bellevue. Now, as we look out from Paradise, Mount Rainier, gorgeous here as well. All right, so highs today, we got into the mid 70s and some of the warmer spots. We've now dropped to 75 uh, SeaTac. We got to 76 earlier, Chehalis 77. Bellingham 72 and Forks is now at 62 and hey send us your pictures let us know what's going on Lindsay sent this in from Cedar Falls with her grandson they were out that's miles by the way uh, and Cedar Falls of course off Highway 20 the North Cascades Highway you can download the King 5 app if you already have it you can upload your pictures and your video Gary took this great shot, Fox Island. I love that little dog. I love that car. I'm jealous, very nice. So thanks for sending those in. Hey, let's get to the radar right now. Not much going on, a little quiet. The organized system is well to the north, but there's some showers that are coming our direction. So as we pause a moment with Craig, looking at Kodiak and Iris from this fall, they were reminiscing about the cooler weather. Uh, Percy, thanks for sending that picture in. You will have some cooler weather tomorrow. Spotty showers at 9 a.m., about 59 degrees. Only get into the low 70s tomorrow. So still nice, but it's going to take some time to get some sunshine going. 11 p.m., notice where the showers are. They're not widespread. South Sound probably not getting a whole lot. Not much over the San Juan Islands. 6.30 in the morning from Everett to Tacoma. Hood Canal, 11 o'clock, same spots. And then by about 5 o'clock, we'll start to see some clearing. It is going to take some time. Now, Saturday, Saturday, plan on some sunshine during the afternoon and warm weather. Warmer as we go into Sunday as well. Of course, with the clouds, we'll be in the upper 50s for overnight lows. Your highs tomorrow warming up about 10 degrees from where we start the day, meaning lots of mid and upper 60s and a few low 70s. We'll go for about 74 in Renton, SeaTac at about 72, and average for this time of year again is 76. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of mid 70s for the South Sound, and of course along the coast you've got some 60s here. Hey, how about the seven-day forecast? Here we go, 72 tomorrow, the weekend upon us. I'm not talking about rain. I'm not talking about a whole lot of cloud cover. I'm talking about upper 70s and low 80s. Joyce and Mark, after that, next week still looks pretty toasty. So you know the drill. Get the fans ready. Get going. Yeah, lots of sunshine, but it'll be a little bit warm next week. Okay. Thank you, Craig.